happening now. Football fans are gathering at the University of South Alabama to watch their in-state rival, the Troy University Trojans, face off against the Jags. The Jags are currently ranked number one in the Western Division of the Sunbelt Conference, and if they win this game tonight, they'll have a two-game lean on the next runner-up. Let's go now over to NBC 15's Karis Harmon. She's live at USA. Oh, Karis, the game starts in less than two hours, and it looks like a great atmosphere out there. Yeah, well, it is, and that's because the big game is finally here, and I want to give you guys a little look around of what's actually going on. The campus is absolutely buzzing, and this is the first time in history that tickets for the game have been completely sold out. That means all 25,000 Hancock-Whitney Stadium seats will be filled with fans eager to watch a good game. All week long, Jag fans have looked forward to this game. They say this week is Troy Hate Week, and they hope to get a victory against the Trojans. And the fans got started early today. Tailgating started at 8 o'clock this morning, and these fans are still going strong. These, there's people out here grilling. There's music playing, food trucks. Just a few minutes ago, the band was playing music for everyone, and they were led by their mascots, Miss Paula and Southpaw. And this is all to show their support for their team. We've always been a small school. We've always been a hidden gem in Alabama. Well, does not have quite the history that, that Troy has as far as a football football team, but we're looking forward to what uh, we'll be able to uh, accomplish, you know, as a, as a uh, both a fan base and uh, a team. James up! up. Go Jack! Coming up tonight at 10, I'll have a live report with all the fun from the stands, but just for now, we're out here having a great time. I'm live in Mobile, Karis Harmon, NBC 15 News. All right, Karis, it's going to be a big night. Thanks. Now, if you're going to tonight's game, you'll want to wear a jacket and maybe even take a blanket with you. That's in and out of the Gulf Coast Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals. He has a look at tonight's chilly forecast. Alan? This is perfect football weather. You know the sky is clear. You know it's been a, a sleeve day with the current temperature in the mid-60s, but the air is dry and the winds are calm. That means once the sun goes down, temperatures fall very fast. So be prepared by 7 o'clock, upper 50, 7 o'clock this evening. By 9 o'clock this evening, we will be lower 50s, and then those temperatures will keep on easing down through the late evening overnight.